Hello, Assalamualaikum semua. My name is Mama Afiz by Omar Izwan. I'm from class DKA 1B. In this group, there are three students. It's Nur Arneza bin Ki Adnan, Azman, Mama Afiz by Omar Izwan, and Gazi Kazani bin Azman. Today, my group will present about trigonometry. Introduction. Trigonometry is the study of the properness of triangles and the trigonometric function to be used the various application. Trigonometry studies the relationship in mathematics that involve legs, head and angles of various triangles. Trigonometry is found across geometry. It is basically considered as the computational component of geometry. Special Specifically, uh, trigonometry is about stu study of the angle and dimension of triangles, where one of the internal angles is around 19 degrees. Today, trigonometry plays an important role in a wide variety of careers, including engineering, design, and architecture, and other fields. Application of trigonometry in selected areas uh, Seperti yang kita nampak contoh di sebelah Menara berkembas Petronas di Kuala Lumpur Louvre Pyramid in Paris Dan Jambatan Pulau Pinang di Penang Trigonometry can be used in human real life For example My friend and I were on holiday in France during the holiday, we visit the tallest building in Paris, Eiffel Tower. We try to think of measuring the height of the building. One of the less effective way is to go to the top of the building and drop the rope to the bottom. However, we get an easy easier idea of thinking that is more effective the idea is using concept of formula of trigonometry uh, menggunakan formula hypotenuse saya dapat mencari tinggi bangunan Eiffel Tower tersebut dengan jarak 50 meter dan 86 meter Okay, thank you Hafiz for the introduction and Ghazi, so I will continue. Next, we will find the delta angle based on the trigonometry of the building using the trigonometry formula. That is, time sama dengan opposite per ejection. Nilai opposite yang kita dapat ialah 50, manakala nilai ejection yang kita dapat ialah 70. Ini bermakna akan menjadikan time sama dengan 50 per 70. Selepas itu, kita perlu memindahkan tan ke sebelah kanan dan ini akan menjadikan delta sama dengan tan punca kuasa negatif 1, 50 per 70. Selepas itu, dengan menggunakan, menggunakan kiraan kalkulator, hasil yang kita akan dapat sudut tersebut ialah delta sama dengan 35.53. As the conclusion from the trigonometry topic, we realize that we can apply the trigonometry in our daily life. We, we realize that trigonometry can be used in many areas such as, uh, such as uh, astronomy and architecture. They can add in calculating many things. It really helps in real application and not only to our test and exam. We can conclude the, that without trigonometry, life can, will move more difficult. So that us, that us from us, thank you.